Okay, hello, my name is Natasha. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a member of the Loyobo team. And we are very excited because we're here today with our featured member, Julia. Julia has been with the Loyobo community for a while now, and she is so committed to coming to classes, workshops, coaching calls, and we are so excited to hear more about her experience. So welcome, Julia. Thank you. So let's start right at the beginning of your Loyobo journey. How long you've been a Loyobo member and what initially inspired you to join our community? I joined this year in February. So that's what, about six, seven months-ish. And what inspired me to join is um, one of my friends had been part of the gym a year ago and I did a trial class with her. And I'd finally just been feeling like, okay, like I want to do something to prioritize my health more. I want to kind of get more into regular exercise, but I wanted something that would be body positive and wouldn't be, you know, trying to encourage me to push myself harder than I was able to, or just, you know, encouraging me to do things I didn't want. So um, I thought I would try a little bit. Absolutely. And we're so glad that you decided to join and that you found us through your friend. So before you joined Leobo, I'd love to know what your relationship with your body looked like. Yeah, I've I've already kind of been on a, you know, body positivity journey, just trying to accept it and and be kind to it and yeah, accept its, you know, limitations or whatever. And so I, um, yeah, I'd already kind of started on that journey. And so um, I was happy to find Loyobo, basically. (laughs) Awesome. I'm glad that Loyobo kind of fit into that journey for you. Mm -hmm. Um, And now that you've been a part of the Leobo community, what is your top goal when it comes to loving your body? Um, For me, it's really like taking care of it. Um, Just trying to, you know, have it be its best self. I really want to my body to be strong. So that's that's kind of one of my big goals. Um, Just be able to gain and maintain strength as you know, I'm getting a little bit older every year. And yeah, being kind to it. yeah, just, you know, accepting it on its different days, kind of. Throughout your journey with Leobo and and throughout your journey with your body um, and your life, what's a challenge that you faced in your self-love journey? And mm-hmm. and thinking about that, what's something that you found helpful to overcome it? My two challenges come to mind. Um, one is I have a history of knee injuries. And so just dealing with sometimes, um, you know, I can't do the athletic activities. I could, you know, when I was way younger, pre-injury. And just sometimes you wake up and you have a bad, you know, knee day. I have a, you know, it just can't do what I, what I want it to do. So I can get very frustrated just with that. Like if I go to a class and I'm like, oh, the squats aren't just, they're just not going to happen today or I can't do the weight today. So that can be frustrating, but I, you know, low yoga has definitely been helpful for that because everyone is always like really acknowledging that like, you know, on different days, your body can do different things and just listen to your body that day. And you're not trying to compare to either your previous self or to others, like it's really just like do your best on that day. So that's really helpful. And then the other thing is, um, you know, just in the last few years, like kind of changing body image, I've gained a bit of weight. Again, I'm trying to just do the, you know, self-acceptance of that. And I think Lil Yobo is just really supportive of that because a lot of other people are on a similar journey and everyone is just really encouraging of, um, you know, love your body as it is. Absolutely. Especially throughout the years and the changing bodies. I I know for me, Loyobo has been so important as my body has changed. Um, And I I resonate a lot with what you're saying about knee problems. I actually just um, suffered my first knee injury and I'm I'm trying to like deal with what that looks like for exercise and what kind of limitations that places on me. Um, Mm -hmm. But that's still recognizing that you can participate in the classes um, in a way that works you. Thinking about the six or seven months that you've been with Leobo, is there anything that's changed for you or in your life as a result of being a member? I would say I've just become even more compassionate to my body. Like I, you know, I, I feel, I think overall less of that frustration, or I can kind of deal with that frustration of my limitations a little better. Um, so that's really nice. Just the constant encouragement of like, it's okay, just just do your best is awesome. Um, so yeah, more compassionate. Um, better at listening to my body of what it needs. And then I'm just like very inspired by seeing all the other people in the community. Um, We're all supporting each other and, you know, our health and happiness goals. Um, And it's nice to just have conversations about goals for those things that aren't just like weight loss. It's like, there's so many other things we could talk about and and we do. So that's awesome. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's huge. Like just the fact that there, that we do talk about so many things. Like this morning I saw um, one of the members posted in the group asking for help like where she should take notes for a project she's working on. And just the yeah. fact that we've built that community that like everybody is willing to like ask for help with what, what they need in that moment. Mm-hmm. And it's so far from weight loss is, yeah. is fantastic. Or like where to find, you know, supportive yoga props. Like where do you find yeah. your 
so that you can make the poses work better for you. Like, yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> exactly. Like everybody is so like open to ask, which I think is huge. Yeah. Like, I think that's a big bridge to get to that point. But then everybody's so helpful with their responses. So I imagine we probably touched on it, but but with that in mind, what is your favorite part or benefit of being a Loyobo member? Like two main things, like the sense of community and the inclusiveness. So like you come into class, you know, like almost most people have their camera on. So you kind of get to know people. It's really fun. The All the instructors know you when you come in and like genuinely care about you. So that's so nice. And then yeah, the Facebook group, like, you know, that you can get support there too. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And then, um, yeah, the classes are so inclusive. Like there's so many modifications. They're constantly telling you like, it's okay if you have to take a rest or slow this down. And like, I, I knew I need to hear that like every class. Cause again, I just need the constant encouragement. So the fact that, um, that's always part of all the classes is, is huge. Absolutely. I think, I think that's a big thing for a lot of people is like hearing the constant, like, it's okay. Yeah. Like you do what your body needs and, and yeah. that's what's important for your body on that day. And thinking about your time with Leobo, do you have a favorite memory, maybe a class or an experience or a conversation? Is there something that happened throughout your time really stands out in your mind? Mm -hmm. um, I really liked getting my milestone bracelet. So I have my 50 class one. Um, I think I'll, I'll hit 100 in the fall sometime. <laughs> uh, the summer slowdown has been, you know, a bit real, but that's okay. Absolutely. Um, and then, yeah, I did the team challenge in, I think, June. Um, where we had our, you know, team of three people and we set our goals. And I set a goal of doing, um, being able to do lunges while holding, you know, five pounds in each hand, which for, you know, kind of weak knees is lunges are really hard. But I thought, okay, I think I can really push myself, I can give it a try. And I did achieve that goal, which was fantastic. And I don't think I would have, you know, pushed myself to that level without, you know, the team challenge and without um, Lil Yobo. So that was awesome to like, really see what I could push my push my knee into doing push my body to to do um yeah so that was really cool absolutely congratulations thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah thinking about the team challenge and just watching all of the things that people accomplished throughout it um was pretty inspiring everybody set big goals and it was interesting to see how everybody's big goals looked so different based off mm -hmm. of what they had going on in their life, whether it was a mindset goal or a body goal or a, like a nourishment goal. There were so many different goals and so many people accomplished them in different ways, which was exciting. Yeah, it was great. Um, and then finally, my final question is, what advice do you have for someone who's just starting their self-love journey? I would say just try try that little step of start to embrace a new way of thinking. Has what you've been doing worked for the last, you know, 10, 20 years? If not, like try something new, just try really loving your body instead of trying to change it, just take care of it, give it that compassion, um, just give it a try and see where that gets you. So just take that little step, I would say. And and I also find helpful, like, think of what your older self is going to think, like, are you going to wish you had were acting the way you are now? Or are you going to wish you just started taking care of yourself and loving yourself now, instead of 30 or 40 years from now? So those are kind of my two two ideas. Yeah, that's excellent advice for someone thinking about the older self. I love that. Well, thank you so much for meeting with us today, Julia. Is there anything else that you wanted to add or wanted to talk about? So it's just been a lovely community. I'm so happy I've been like sticking with it. I feel like, you know, I often get out of um, routine with like exercise and, you know, um, self care, but I've really been able to maintain this, I think, because of the positivity and accountability of the community. So I just have been having a great time. Excellent. We're so glad to hear that. And we are so happy to have you as a member of the Loyobo community. So thank, thank you. you so much for meeting with us today. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.